Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Smita and I am from Informatica GCS. In this video, I am going to demonstrate on how to perform parallel upgrade of Informatica part 2. As I mentioned in my previous video, Informatica upgrade, parallel upgrade involves two steps. One is cloning the existing server and upgrading the clone server. Upgrading steps is similar to in-place upgrade and parallel upgrade. Now let's see how, how to upgrade the clone server or the in-place server. Agenda of this video are as follow. First we'll check what, is, what are the prerequisites to upgrade the Informatica server and then what is upgrade advisory and demo on the steps to upgrade. Now let's see what are all the prerequisites that are required to upgrade the Informatica server. These steps are applicable for all the 10.x version. First, take the backup of domain and repository. In case of any failure, we can restore it back. You can find the links for the same in the description. Verify whether the system has enough space. We need minimum of 3 to 4 GB free disk space available and temp directory should have 1 GB free space and user should have full permission read write execute review all the environment variables take the backup of odbc.ini file because it will not going to be upgraded you need to copy it to the new location install the java that is recommended for respective version in case you are on AAX machine. You can find the Java version in the corresponding installation and upgrade guide. Take the backup of Keystore and Trustor files that you are using in case if you have enabled TLS and kept the Keystore and Trustor file in a custom location, then we need to copy the Keystore and Trustor files manually. Copy the installers and extract in the server machine. Pre-check or upgrade advisory. Before you are going to upgrade the Informatica server, run the upgrade advisory to check whether the system meets all the minimum requirements to upgrade. If you run the upgrade advisory, it will check whether system has enough disk space, OS version, open cursor, open file descriptor, temp space, etc. So once you run the upgrade advisory, it will give you a report where you can check all the minimum requirements. Once the pre-check is done, you can shut down the Informatica server and go ahead with the upgrade. Now, uh, I'm going to demonstrate on these steps. First, I will show how to uh, run the upgrade advisory and then I will show how to run the upgrade. I have already transferred the installers and extracted it in the server. Now I am running the install.sh script. Once you run it will ask whether you have referred the upgrade guide or not. Say yes and continue. As we are upgrading, I am selecting option 2. If you are applying a hotfix, you have to select the last option. Once you select upgrade, it will ask whether you are going to run the Informatica upgrade installation or you want to run the upgrade advisory. Select one and run the upgrade advisory. Select enter and continue. Now it's asking for the existing directory where existing 10.2 installation is done. Please provide the absolute path to info. This is the absolute path for uh, existing 10.2 version. I am provide the absolute part and then click enter. Now it's asking for other details like domain name, everything we have to provide from the existing domain. My domain name is domain underscore time two. I have provided the domain name. Click enter. Now it's asking for the host name. As my host name is angelx72, I'm providing the host name and providing the Note port, 
default username I'm using administrator and the password please note that when you are performing the upgrade advisory test the domain should be up and running otherwise it will fail once the upgrade advisory is as run it will create a file summary.log and you can check for any failures in that log upgrade advisory has run successfully now let's run the installer test script and run the actual upgrade say yes and continue select option 2 as we are upgrading this time we have to select uh, option 2 to run the Informatica installer service. Now it will ask us to agree to the terms and condition. Select option 2 and then enter. It will provide you the quick re review of system requirement. Go through it and then press enter. We have to provide the actual directory of, I mean, the previous home directory of 10.2 version. Please provide the absolute path to 10.2 home. Click enter. If you want to change the default location of 10.4.1, you can change it. Otherwise, keep the default directory. You can select whether you are upgrading the test production option. I am selecting sandbox. If you want to change anything, you can select the option 2. As I am not changing anything, I am selecting option 1. Now it will ask whether you are upgrading only Informatica Power Center or IDQ or along with EDC. Please select option 1. Provide the key configuration. If you are not using default directory, you have to provide the absolute path. Enter the username and password for the domain. It should be administrator user. Provide the administrator password. Then enter, press enter. Once you click enter, it will start upgrading the domain. We need to wait for some time. Once the upgrade is done, it will provide the details about the database where it has upgraded the contents. Click enter. Once the installer files have been copied, it will ask to upgrade the node click enter and then it will start executing all the commands where it will upgrade the node. We need to wait for some more time. Once the upgrade is done, it will start the service and it will start pinging the domain. If there is some issue in starting the services, it will be recorded in the upgrade log. We need to wait until the installer exit, exit and then check the upgrade log and then if there is any errors, resolve that error and start the services. Once the service has been started, it will so show, show the summary, post installation summary, where it's mentioned whether the upgrade is successful or not. And if you have any, uh, if you have faced any issue, you can find in these logs in the info home location. Now let's log into the admin console and see if everything is proper or not. This is the admin console and I can see that the version is 10.4.1. Let's log in. So once log in, we can see that it's still, we can see all the repository service or application services that are exist. And the version of the repository service would be older version. You need to upgrade the repository versions. You can refer upgrade guide in https.docs.informatica.com link. You can find upgrade guide for any version. Also, if you want to change the domain name after upgrading, you can refer the KB, num KB number 522018. Links for the same is available in the description. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. We would love to hear your feedback. 
you can write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can leave your comments using Twitter handle InfaSupport. Thank you.